Norepirib have an indication um, for a, a maintenance indication after two prior lines of chemotherapy in patients that have responded to their first chemotherapy with a platinum-based therapy and then had a complete or partial response after their second uh, line of therapy. Um, this is in all comers, um, and again, there was highly statistically significant group uh, of all groups showing benefit in both the germline bracket patients, the homologous recombination patients, and those that uh, were wild type uh, and HRD negative. The NOVA trial uh, was a large trial that uh, evaluated the efficacy and safety of the PARP inhibitor rubberib in patients with uh, platinum sensitive recurrent ovarian cancer. Those patients had to have at least a partial or complete response to prior platinum based chemotherapy. Niraparib was started within eight weeks after administration of the last course of uh, chemotherapy, and then patients were followed uh, over time. It was a randomized controlled trial. Um, patients were randomized in a two to one fashion to either receive receive uh, niraparib or placebo. What was found in this trial that those patients uh, on uh, niraparib had a significantly prolonged progression-free survival. The uh, uh, observation in this trial was stopped at 24 months and we still have to await the overall survival data, which is still maturing. I think one of the key elements of this trial was that all patients, regardless of uh, mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2, and regardless of the degree of homologous recombination deficiency, which was likewise tested in those patients' tumors, had a benefit from the rubberib. The efficacy was still the greatest in those patients that had BRCA1 and 2 mutations, either in the germline or in the tumor, but still a significant difference in those patients that lacked those mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2. This data prompted the FDA to approve niraparib regardless of uh, BRCA1 and 2 mutation status. Uh, and that's why we do not have a companion diagnostic required for the use of niraparib. The niraparib or NOVA trial certainly had a very scientific and detailed follow-up of those patients on the trial. Radiographic assessment using mostly CT scans was done every eight weeks for the first 14 cycles and every 12 weeks following the uh, 14th cycle. CN25 likewise was assessed very frequently. Those uh, measurements are rather standard. The neuroparib trial had, uh, I think, a very close follow-up. They also followed patients for the development of symptoms and uh, prompted uh, radiographic studies or further evaluation if patients reported symptoms outside of the regular scheduled radiographic assessments. So I think that uh, the study design is a very careful study design. It's done very scientifically and allowed those investigators to really diagnose recurrences as early as they could. And in that sense, I think we can trust the data from the Enraparov trial uh, as being rather solid and not having missed recurrences that might have happened earlier. In the NOVA trial, there were three primary efficacy populations, BRCA germline positive, BRCA germline negative, and BRCA negative HRD positive. In all three of these uh, primary populations, there was significant improvement in progression-free survival. In addition, there was a population of germline BRCA negative, HRD negative, that was an exploratory population. And even in this population of patients, there was a significant increase in progression-free survival of around three months. And I think this is really important because it's really the first time it's expanded the use of a PARP inhibitor outside of patients with a BRCA mutation or HRD positivity. It really showed an improvement in progression-free survival in all patient populations. And because of these results, patients can go on this drug uh, without needing germline testing or HRD testing. There were 203 patients in the, that had a, a BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutation on this study. And that group 
showed the highest benefit and with over 21 months progression free survival in the group receiving um, niraparib versus 5.5 months in the group receiving placebo. Again, highly statistically significant differences.